Hello everybody. Today we're doing a battery swap out on a Razor electric scooter. It's the E175 series. Basically I uh, just got done pulling out both the batteries and doing the clips inside there. And right here is my new batteries uh, that I just got off of Amazon for, I think it was like $25, $26. Um, I had done a, a test on the old ones and it wasn't holding a charge. Um, it had like maybe 1.3 volts, so it was causing the scooter to not even engage when turning the throttle and even after trying to charge the batteries for four hours, um, it didn't do anything. Uh, somebody put this scooter out by the trash. So uh, basically I just got a charger off of uh, Amazon for like 13 bucks to try to charge the old batteries. Um, no luck there. And like I said, after four or five hours of trying to charge it, uh, it had no luck and it was only at like 1.4 volts or whatever. So definitely not, uh, definitely far under the 24 uh, that it's typically supposed to be at. Um, I think the scooter has an automatic shutoff uh, under 20. So that's probably why it wasn't uh, going so. I took a chance and uh, got a couple of batteries and wanted to uh, try it out and see if uh, we can get it working. But uh, in this video, I just wanted to do a quick explanation taking it out. Um, obviously, when you take something apart that you don't know, um, you should always take a picture of the way it's set up first So um, from the factory. So taking out these two batteries, um, basically you have a clip right here going from one which is positive and the other uh, which is negative to the other battery. Um, the other leads, uh, basically I already put it on one of the leads on this bent new battery and one on the other one. So then you have a positive lead going on this one, negative lead going on this one. But uh, the actual clip uh, right here going in basically connects both the batteries and then plugs in. Um, these other two that have leads on them, they go right into the main switch that turns on the unit. So basically I just crimped, um, taking a couple of these, uh, and crimp, crimping the wires, uh, putting a new one on there and then clipping it on the new leads. So we have all the leads uh, clipped off the old batteries now and I have the new leads uh, fixed on. So basically we have one red lead going up into the clip from one battery and the negative uh, going from this one up into the clip from the other battery. Then you have your positive lead going right here coming off that plugs into the switch and your negative lead coming off this other battery that goes into the switch. I'm also gonna take uh, a little black tape here and I'm just gonna cover up the uh, exposed metal right there, which it's basically in a pl plastic casing anyway, it's not gonna hit anything, but just uh, for my own benefit to put it on there and uh, wrap it up a little bit. So you can do what you want, but that's what I'm gonna do. All right. <laughs> 